what we're looking at on these thermostats is how they sense temperature. Where is the temperature sensor? What is it? Uh, how does it work? Well, these are all thermistor type thermostats. That means you use a variable rate resistor, which means as the temperature goes up and temperature goes down, the resistor changes its resistance. That's how these things work. And uh, I call them thermistors. I think that's a correct name for them. And they do change. They change actually quite a bit in their resistance as the temperature changes, so they can be very accurate. The temperature change that is sensed by the thermistor is put into the electronics of these things, and the electronics determines what the thermostat should do. So it's just a sensor, and this is what we're going to look at when we take these apart. Looking inside the uh, Honeywell thermostat, I can probably find the thermistor that controls this fairly easily. If I look in the cover, you see I got a couple of holes there that are uh, breathing holes, I guess you'd say. And there are two parts there that are near those breathing holes. One of them is this thing, which I assume has something to do with heat because it's placed there. But there's another one right here. And that's what I think is actually the sensor that senses the temperature. Now, I can determine whether that's true or not easily enough. And normally you'd, you'd cut the wires on this to test it. I'm not going to because I can get away with not doing it. Okay, looking a bit closer, you can see near those uh, breathing holes we have this and we have that so those two undoubtedly have something to do with temperature sense this one I have no idea it's got a little IC on it I don't know what it does this right here is what I think is the sensor the thermistor that changes resistance with the temperature and we're going to test that now you can see I've set up with my probes across that thermistor and we're reading 108 kilo ohms. Now I'm going to warm up a screw. Now this is a screw I've warmed up. I'm going to place it near it. A couple things I want you to note. Of course it did change which means it is a thermistor, but it also changed very quickly. As soon as I got that thing anywhere near it, it changed. Now I take it away, and notice how quickly it goes back up to where it was. That's because it's very low thermal mass. A large thermal mass would mean it'd take quite a while to warm up and cool down. Small thermal mass takes a very short time. So you can see that is very short. Let's see if we can find one on another uh, thermostat. Now here we have the White Rogers thermostat. And you got to look pretty close on this one to find the thermistor. Uh, but if you look close, and I'll see how close we can get to this thing. Okay, there we have up there in the left corner, you can see the thermistor right there. Here I've done the same thing, put a couple of whiskers on there to test this uh, thermistor. And let's see what the results are. Doing the same thing we did with the other one. And you can see it's pretty much doing the same thing. So that's a thermistor in the White Rogers or Emerson thermostat. Let's take a look at one more. Okay, this old boy is an old Prostat from the 80s, one that I thoroughly hated. Anyway, uh, let's see what's, uh, what's up with it. 
Okay, uh, there's the thermistor right there. Now it's got a little bit of cardboard around it. I'm not sure why it had that, but let's go see if we can uh, test this one, see if we come up with the same uh, conclusions. Okay, got this one set up the same way. You'll notice all these things have different resistances, and uh, that's pretty much normal. Okay, getting the heat close to it, and as was true with the rest of it, it does the same thing. So, those are all thermistors, and they are the sensing part of the electronic thermostat. They sense the temperature in the structure. That's it on this one.